Welcome back. I'm Calvin Statue Fanatic, and I swear it seems like it's been a long time since I've actually done a video on camera. I've posted a lot of stuff, but I've been on camera in a while. So I am back and excited. And this is a video that I wanted to do a long time ago, and I haven't had a chance to do it. We've already been back from San Diego for more than a month now, and now I'm just doing this video here. So this video is going to be my San Diego Comic Con haul. I thought that I wasn't going to buy anything this year, and then, you know, the last day of the show, and other things happen, and I don't know what it is, you end up buying stuff. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the really cool things that I picked up from Comic Con. All right, one of the first things I have here is a collection of pens. Uh, you guys that go know how freaking hard it is to get these stupid pens. Well, they're not stupid, but you know how hard it is. So this is one that Marvel was giving out with uh, with uh, Gwen and uh, Black Suit Spider-Man. I think this is Stealth Spider-Man and Spider-Ham. You had to, of course, like all the pens, like the last year when George and I went, we had to go like... Oh, dark 30 in the morning, stand in line, rush to the, to the uh, sideshow booth to try to get that pen of uh, the gauntlet. Here's another set of pens that I was able to, uh, to get my hands on. And this, this one I really like a lot because I'm such a huge Spawn fan and those who are reading Spawn know there's a lot going on in the comics right now. They're about to break a record with issue 300. And so there's three pens here with some of the classic uh, logos here from Spawn. You can see that. These are some pretty cool pens. I like that a lot. Has the uh, kind of like uh, a retro Batman look here with Spawn, then the Punisher look, the classic one in the middle there that you see on every comic there, and of course the uh, fonts and logos on the other two pens here on the left. Now check this out. This was really cool. This reminded me of the, uh, the NECA Turtles last year. Um, what we have here is something from Diamond Select Toys, and this is a con exclusive Ghostbuster set of all four characters. I'm gonna hide my face here. You can see that has all four characters in here. All of them have been slimed. You've got Slime Peter, Slime Winston, Slime Ray, and Slime Egan here. Really cool figures with a ton of accessories that came with this pack from their Proton packs to the little thing. I can't, can't remember what it is now that they capture the, uh, the ghost in and store them. God, I can't remember that right now. But anyway, it's in here right here. And then uh, of course the front of it, you know, where they did their work at. And then on the back you have all four characters again, which is pretty freaking cool and amazing. This was a con exclusive that you also had to stand in line, but they didn't run out of these for some reason. When I actually won, I didn't think they would have any, and they actually didn't run out of these guys. So I got that, this is pretty cool. And here is another con exclusive. So there's two versions of this guy. This is the half scale bus of Deadpool. This is the X first, X half scale. This is the X force version of it. There's a red version as well, but they did the gray version here with the X force outfit on for the con and that's exclusive. This guy, I am going to do another video of because I actually want to review him. Um, but this is really cool here. Really, really like it. They only did a thousand of these guys for the con. So I can't wait. So stay tuned for that video. This is issue 299. The Road to 300, um, Spawn, signed by the man himself, Todd McFarlane. So the way this worked, they gave 500 of these, these there were 500 of these available at the con. And uh, of course, the same thing applies, trying to get, it, get these things is a nightmare sometimes. But what's really cool uh, throughout the uh, con, uh, Todd and Greg Capola too, but Todd had uh, a couple of signing sessions where he actually signed a number of these books as well. You can see some of the video here when I show you the next thing I have of him signing uh, some of the stuff there at the con. This really, really, really cool. One of the cooler pieces that I picked up this year. And then I have one more piece that I'm going to show you guys here. I'll put this aside here. Yes, this piece right here. There's a little bit of glare in there. So this piece was practically given away at the con. Everybody had it. But what's really unique about this piece is that one, uh, as you can see from the video that I'm going to show you that Todd did on Sunday did a, a, a huge signing of this piece. So he, you had to get in line, of course, again, to get him to sign, sign them. So, so this is a signed version of it from him. And that's one of the other reasons that it took me so long to do this haul video is because I actually wanted to get this guy framed. Really cool piece. And so a lot of things were happening at Con this year. One of the more significant things was celebrating the 80th um, 
anniversary of Batman. There was a lot of Batman stuff going on. I got to check the museum out. That was pretty cool. Uh, there was a life-size um, uh, statue of this particular image of Batman, and uh, it was going to be given away for charity. When you went to the museum, you got to saw, this is based on, um, first of all, where did this come from? So this is based on Todd McFarlane's art from issue uh, 423 in, in 1983, uh, the cover art for this particular Batman magazine. That's what it's based off. Interestingly enough, based on Todd McFarlane's art, that was the 100th black and white statue that DC had produced. And in celebration of that, like I said, there was a life-size scale of this. There was also uh, the, the museum. All of that was really cool. So. All in all, not a bad haul. I was intending not to get anything, but uh, that seems to never happen for some reason. There you have it, my 2019 San Diego Comic-Con haul. And remember, if you wanna stay on top of the latest in the world of collecting, please head over to mcecentral.com. That's Marvel's Collectible and Entertainments. And remember to always collect what you like, not the hype.